Welcome to Sim UK. Today I'm going to review the Frostflow 240L closed loop liquid cooling CPU heatsink by ID Cooling. I was contacted by a company called Beyond Technologies. They're the leading distributor of ID Cooling's PC cooling systems. They asked me if I would be interested in reviewing their Frostflow 240L all-in-one CPU liquid cooling system. To be honest, the timing could not have been any better, as my CPU temperature was already entering dangerous levels and I was in the market. So I performed some research on the Frostflow and general consensus was actually very good. So I immediately contacted Beyond Technologies and gratefully accepted their invitation. So here it is then, the Frostflow 240L CPU cooler. I must say that the exterior presentation certainly filled me with confidence. I got the impression that this was going to be a quality product from the outset. If you would like to see the full unboxing for this device, you can see that here. And if you would like to see the installation for this device, then click here. In this video, I will be focusing entirely on the review. It's highly likely that you have not heard of ID Cooling before, especially if you're based in the UK like I am. ID Cooling are a company based in China. They formed in about 2013. They have been selling their products worldwide for the last two years or so, but have only recently been selling in the UK. With their primary focus, as their name suggests, being on cooling systems, they have a variety of products available, ranging from air-cooled CPU heatsinks, all-in-one liquid-cooled units for your GPU and CPU, built-in cooling cases, fans and even PSUs. Today though, we are focusing on one single product. That's the Frostflow 240L all-in-one liquid-cooled CPU heatsink. This device is available in three colour variants, red, white and blue, and indicates not only the colour of the trim surrounding the two 120mm PWM fans, but also confirms the colour of the central circular LED lit heatsink. I have the blue version. If you're not familiar with liquid cooling, then I will give you a little bit of a background here. Feel free to skip this if you already know everything there is to know about liquid cooling. Regardless of what PC components you have or what you use your PC for, it will inevitably generate heat. Heat is something which PC components are built to withstand, but excessive heat is especially dangerous for your CPU. If left to operate at high temperatures for too long, it can significantly degrade and reduce the life expectancy of your CPU. And if it gets too hot, it can literally crack. To combat this, CPU companies ship their CPU chips with a heatsink. Heat sinks like this are usually air cooled and will encourage heat distribution away from your CPU, keeping your beloved CPU free from overheating. That is unless you want to overclock your CPU or frequently use your PC for process hungry actions, for example gaming or video editing and rendering. In situations like these the default heat sink is either inappropriate or over time will become less efficient at maintaining CPU temperatures within the recommended safe temperature zones. You could buy an aftermarket air cooled system but good ones tend to get big very big. Depending on your case, it simply might not fit, and the additional weight can put unnecessary stress on your motherboard. In contrast then to a traditional air cooling approach, water cooling, or liquid cooling as it's often known, is considerably more efficient at wicking away heat because liquid has a better thermal conductivity. Effectively, water cooling or liquid cooling is a process by which heat is wicked away from the chosen liquid, often distilled water, and dissipated, usually via a combination of reservoirs and a single or combination of radiators and fans. I have often considered a custom liquid cooling system for my PC, but have always shied away from them due to the high level of complexity involved, the cost of implementation, and of course, the potential for it all to end in complete disaster. Thankfully, there is now a large selection of reasonably priced, all-in-one, closed-loop liquid cooling solutions, perfect for those of us without the budget or confidence to attempt a more elaborate custom implementation. 
Technically, it is true to say that a custom-built liquid cooling solution is better than an all-in-one solution. I say technically because there are a lot of if, buts and maybes involved in that conclusion. Unlike your generic one-size-fits-all all-in-one solution, a custom-built solution, as the name suggests, is customizable to suit your specific needs. For example, a custom liquid-cooled solution can be used to cool multiple components at once. To achieve something like this, you will need to ensure that you have enough radiators and reservoirs with enough refrigerant to effectively cool your combined components. This can quickly become cumbersome and very expensive. A custom solution requires planning, fitting, testing, modifying, and at each stage there is that potential for disaster. In contrast to this, an all-in-one solution is considerably cheaper, designed by professionals, pre-built and tested, so all you really need to do is purchase it and fit it. This takes a lot of the guesswork out of the equation, and rather than being the lazy man's option, an all-in-one offers greater confidence and a robustness which, for most of us, is more important than the ease of installation. It is difficult to compare a custom and an all-in-one solution in terms of efficiency because, well, for one thing, Custom builds can theoretically get as large and or as complex as you want. If you were so inclined, you could hook up a fridge to your system, thereby reducing the water temperature and increasing efficiency as a result. It's important to note here that an all-in-one solution has a specific amount of liquid available and will only be as cool as the surrounding room temperature. That being said, a decent all-in-one solution like this will have been tested and optimised to ensure that the liquid volume pump speed and radiator work in perfect unison and ensure that a constant and effective cooling solution is applied. There is one downside to liquid cooling and it's a big one. Leakage. Custom liquid cooling systems are especially susceptible to leaking. This is actually another positive for an all-in-one solution. All-in-one solutions have been tested not just in the lab but also in the real world by hundreds and perhaps thousands of users. Thankfully, you can use the web to check how many issues have been reported for a specific all-in-one kit. I have been unable to find any reported incidents with regards to the FrostFlow 240L or for any other FrostFlow device for that matter. Essentially, with an all-in-one, leakage is far more unlikely. Equally is the likelihood of the pump failing in an all-in-one system. If you are considering upgrading from a stock heatsink to an all-in-one liquid-cooled system and you don't already have additional fans in your case, you will need to get some. The CPU heatsink, despite its obvious limitations, also cools the motherboard components and switching to a liquid cooled solution will remove that vacuum which currently draws heat away from the board. PC case vacuum slash ventilation is still important with or without a liquid cooled system, so make sure that you have a push-pull or similar solution in place. So with all that considered, Let's take an in-depth look at the FrostFlow 240L by ID Cooling. The FrostFlow 240L all-in-one comes nicely packaged in a custom-made cardboard housing and looks the business, even before you open the box. In the box, you will receive two high static pressure 120mm PWM fans, that means pulse width modulation, basically controls the fan's RPM, and each will have a trim in the colour that you have selected. You'll get a 240mm radiator and two industrial rubber tubes which connect the radiator to the water block or pump. Plus, on the pump, there is the Comet Tail LED lighting, again in the colour that you've selected. You'll receive a universal mounting kit. This will consist of two mounting brackets, so it will fit both Square ILM Intel platforms LG775 through to 2011 Volume 3 and also AMD motherboards with four bolt brackets. You'll get a dual fan splitter cable and a combination of the required screws, bolts, nuts and washers for installation. In addition to all this, there is a single page fold out with multi-language installation instructions. On initial inspection, the FrostFlow 240L is unassuming but looks like a quality product. It's well made with nice accentuated trim. Once installed, the all-in-one unit is very neat and tidy, and the fans and radiators squirrel themselves away well into the casing. Due to its smaller size, the FrostFlow 240L actually decluttered my inner case, and should theoretically allow for more efficient through-flow. The radiator measures 274 by 120 by 27 millimeters. 
The water block is 65 by 36 millimeters. The dual tube lengths are 315 millimeters, and both vans are 120 millimeters squared and 25 millimeters thick. The installation guide, although brief, is actually very well illustrated and definitive. Each individual piece required to install are accounted for, and it's a simple case of following the diagrams and brief description whilst cross-referencing the required screw or nut and bolt with the illustrated parts list. Whilst there is some avenue for mistake here, simply taking your time to ensure that you understand what is required for each step, and then double-checking that the corresponding screws are correct, the single-page fold-out installation guide is more than sufficient. The Frostflow 240L comprises exceptional build quality. No corners appear to have been cut here, and the end result is one of a solid and dependable looking component. Both fans consist of 11 blades, which are angled to increase pressure and as such require less RPM in order to achieve efficient airflow. They top out at 2000 RPM. The potential trade-off here is noise pollution. Each fan fluctuates between 20 and 38.2 decibels, which is comparable to the noise of a bird call. This is obviously dependent on the CPU load and requirements from the motherboard. Incidentally, it is the motherboard which regulates the speed of the fans, as there is no software or firmware included with the Frostflow 240L. The majority of technical wizardry is situated within the sealed water block. The pump can feed up to 96 litres per hour. It draws 3 watts of power via the 3-pin connector and operates at 2500 RPM. The pump itself is pretty quiet at just 25 decibels, somewhere between a quiet rural street and a whisper. The machine polished microfin pure copper base ensures super fast heat transfer, and my tests conclude that it works perfectly. I compiled some temperature test results using NZXT's CAM software in order to compare the default heatsink's performance with that of the new all in one Frostflow 240L just in case the results were too close to tell. I needn't have bothered as the Frostflow 240L outperforms my initial configuration by a whopping 20 to 30%. Whereas my initial setup would idle at approximately 65 degrees, the Frostflow 240L idles between 30 and 40 degrees. And whereas my default configuration would top out at a very disturbing 94 degrees at full load, the Frostflow 240L has not budged one inch past 60 degrees. This is at 100% full load for more than an hour, and this is a consistent result. If I was going to be a little overcritical, and I am, and this is more of a personal preference thing than anything else, then there is one minor thing about the Frostflow 240L that I consider to be a little displeasing. I'm not really one for flashy lights in my setup. It's simply not my thing. Having said that, the comet-tailed LED lights don't actually offend me in any way. I would, however, like the option to turn that feature off. Perhaps. Overall, I am extremely pleased and very impressed with the Frostflow 240L, so much so that I am now looking at ID Cooling's other products with the consideration of upgrading my entire current cooling solution. The build quality is second to none and the price is both reasonable and competitive. The Frostflow 240L has such reliable cooling efficiency it is almost a no-brainer to invest in a product like this. Custom liquid cooling solutions are impressive and effective, but certainly they are not for everyone. All-in-one liquid cooling solutions have evolved into an extremely cost-effective and reliable option. And I highly recommend to anyone who might be considering a new cooling solution to check this out. Even if you're not currently thinking about it, grab a temperature recorder and just see how well your CPU's temperature is coping under load, and then maybe have another look at this device. During my research and cross-referencing, I found that other reviewers have predominantly come to the same conclusion as I have, that the Frostflow 240L is a product of quality and deserves to be taken very seriously. As always, I encourage you not to base your purchase decisions on one single reviewer's opinion, but do go out and read other reviews and formulate your own opinion based on the collective feedback. The Frostflow 240L is available throughout the UK in a variety of stores, so don't wait until it's too late. Get on and grab one of these things now. 
In addition to this review, I am planning on uploading a full unboxing and an installation tutorial. So when the time comes, you know where to find me. If you have any questions about the Frostflow 240L, please ask me via the comments section below and I will do my utmost to provide you with a conclusive answer. My name's Mike, this is SimUK, thank you for watching and until next time, take care of yourselves now, bye bye.